in this section, I want to show you that the conditions for the vector field to be conservative, that means to have potential, these conditions can be written in a very nice, very short, very simple compact form, namely curl of f is equal to zero. C-U-R-L, curl of f, is a differential operator that can be explained by the following way. Consider first the differential operator nabla. which has three components, namely partial derivatives with respect to x, y, and z. Partial derivatives with respect to x can be written in this symbolic form. Partial derivative with respect to y can be written this way, and partial derivative with respect to z can be written this way. This is not a vector that has some numerical values. The meaning of this vector comes only after we write a function after the nabla operator. An example, if we have a scalar vector field, uh, if we have a scalar field f, then nabla f is just a gradient of this function, namely partial derivative of f with respect to x partial derivative of f with respect to y and partial derivative of f with respect to z which can be written as this differential operator applied to the function f this is just a different way of, of writing things down and this is called gradient of the function f. Now, we can apply this nabla operator to a vector field. And then we can either consider nabla dot product f or we can consider nabla cross product f. The dot stands for the dot product or scalar product and the cross stands for cross product or vector product. If we repeat what we mean by the dot product, if we have two vectors A and B, then the scalar product, the dot product is A1, B1 plus A2, B2 plus A3, B3 in the case of three component vectors. Then nabla dot f is partial derivative of first component with respect to the first variable plus partial derivative of the second component with respect to the second variable plus partial derivative of f3 with respect to that. And this is an important object, important quantity, called divergence. If the vector field F describes motion of some liquid, then divergence is a quantity that tells you how much it diverges, how much it flows out of some region. And now for the cross product, if we have two three component vectors, then the cross product can be written in the form of a determinant while we write the three co coordinate vectors in the first row. We write the components of the first vector in the second row and we write b1, b2, b3, the three components of the second vector on the third row. So now, this can be written in the form of a determinant again, i, okay, j, k, and now the component of the number vector, or number vector is just the symbols for the partial derivatives. And then f has the components f1, f2, 
to F3. Well, and you, oh, we can, if, if we perform this, then the first component is A to B3 minus A3 B2. The second component is uh, A3 B1 minus A1 B3. And the last component is A1 B2 minus A2 B1. And in the same way, we can expand this determinant, and the first component will be partial derivative of F3 with respect to Y minus partial derivative of F2 with respect to Z. The second component is F1 dz minus F3 dx. And the last component is derivative of F1 with respect to y minus F2 dx. Well, and this is actually exactly what we have on the left of this condition. Uh, one z, two x. You see, so these three long equations can be written in this short, simple way. And similarly, as divergence tells you how some fluid flows out of a region. Then this operator, denoted by a curl, tells you how much it rotates, how much it turns around. And if the curl is zero, there is no rotation. <laughs>